the gear A, this one, on the drive shaft of the outboard motor has a radius of RA 12.5 mm. And the mesh pinion gear B on the propeller shaft has a radius of 30 mm. So this is the radius for pinion A and this is uh, the radius of mesh pinion B. And uh, we need to determine the angular velocity of the propeller okay this one is the propeller um, in 1.5 seconds if the drive shaft rotates with an angular acceleration so this is going to be angular acceleration of alpha equals to 400 t power of 3 radius per second per second where t in in seconds the propeller is originally at rest and the motor frame does not move. In this question, we are given the equation for the angular acceleration. And we are also given the operational time. So in this case, we go, we go back to the basic. So basically, if we want to calculate for angular acceleration, we need to differentiate between omega to t. So here we know the equation. So when we rearrange uh, for this equation, so we are going to have delta omega equals to alpha times uh, dt, okay, d omega times alpha dt. So we have uh, starting from rest to omega a and we have from 0 t to 1.5 seconds so we put in the equation for our alpha which is 400 t to the power of 3 times dt when we solve for this equation, we are going to have omega a, and also when we differentiate, uh, we, when we uh, integrate this, we are going to have four hundred t to the power of four divided by four from zero seconds to one point five seconds. When we solve for this, we are going to get omega a equals to 506.25 radius per second but we are not going to stop here because we are not asked to calculate the angular velocity of A instead we are asked to solve uh, and calculate for the angular velocity of the propeller in order to do this, we need to use the ratio of gears. Using the ratio of gears, we have omega A times the, uh, the radius of A equals to omega B times the radius of B. So if we have omega B, automatically we can get the angular velocity of the propeller. In this case, let's rearrange this equation to solve for omega b. Here we have omega a, radius of a divided by radius of b. So when we finish to calculate this one, we are going to have 506.25 and then the radius of A equals to 12.5 divided by radius of B equals to 30 meters, 30 mm. So ultimately, we are going to have the angular velocity of B equals to 211 radius second.